Well, happy Saturday, my friends. I'm Jack Keenan, Greg Wagner, Public Information Officer, Nebraska Game and Parks. My good buddy, always a pleasure to see you, Greg. Likewise. Thanks for bringing a snack today. Kind oh, of. A little bit, yeah. Fishing. Yeah, breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> For the fish. For the fish. It's Memorial Day weekend, of course. The unofficial kickoff to summer. You've got the camping cap on. Greg's here to talk us about talk to us about spending the holiday weekend outside camping. So let's start, Greg. All right. With uh, the campsites, are there still spots available? Well, in our state park system, Jack, as we've talked before, our campsites are kind of a 50-50 proposition. That means half of them are reservable. Those are reserved and booked up. The other half are first come, first serve upon arrival. So the best advice I can give you is to call ahead to your favorite or preferred state park area to find out what you need to do to secure one of those first come, first serve campsites. And if you go out west to Lake McConaughey, Lake Ogallala, those are all advanced reservations only. Excellent. So, so many great campsites to choose from. Greg, which parks do you suggest for camping? Well, you know, we have 78 areas in our state park system, quite a few, but you can never go wrong with the north campground area at Fremont Lakes, where we always have room. You're not going to have some prime real estate mm -hmm. for camping, but we'll find a spot for you. That's probably the closest and one of the best places to go to maybe do some camping for the weekend with a tent or perhaps a self-contained RV. Fantastic. And what kind of facilities are available for those campers? Restroom wise, other kind of. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, all of our facilities are available. The dump stations for RVs, the shower houses are available. Uh, everything else we have in place, the docks for boat uh, launching and fishing. So we're ready to go. Whether you're glamping, camping in the RV, camping down in the tents, <laughs> what would you tell people to keep in mind? Well, meet your camping neighbors. That's one of the things I, like I, would, yeah. I would do. It's very uh, Nebraska-like. Meet your neighbors. And quiet hours in our parks are 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Okay. So that's the quiet time. Be respectful. And remember that maybe, Jack, your music might not be Greg Wagner's music, <laughs> and my music would not definitely be your music. I know we both like Rocky Top, though. We're <laughs> we, both fans we, of that we song. We do. <laughs> so, uh, you know, keep it down. Yeah. And your pets need to be on leashes no longer than six feet. Okay, good that's to keep in mind. Let's get back to our breakfast for the fishies, at least. You're going fishing this weekend, oh, right, Oh, yeah, Greg? definitely. This typically is a big fishing weekend, even though, you know, we're dodging storms and rain events and everything else. The Number one bait, no question, folks, to use with all the rain we've had, all the moisture, night crawlers. Look at that. Right here. Live here we go. in the Drop studio down, there right we go. now. The earthworm, there the we night go. crawler. There we are. It's a sign of good Woo. soil, too, you said, Greg, as well. If you yes, find these exactly. crawling around. Yeah, they are very good uh, to use for fish bait, and I would use the whole night crawler as well. I would do what we call hooking it weedless on your hook. All right. My Texas rigging it. Is Texas called. rigging it. <laughs> Might have to uh, hide one of these on the anchor desk for Kaylee here on the weekend. That's so, right. Yeah. yeah. Kaylee. We're ready to fish, Kaylee. <laughs> Greg, all right. Thank you so much. Anything we're missing for camping this weekend? Sounds great. Yeah, I would just say also, too, let's prevent campground theft. We don't mm. have a problem with it in our state parks, but uh, don't leave anything unattended of value yeah. sitting on a picnic table. Uh, to invite maybe somebody to come in to uh, steal that. So just keep that in mind. When you leave your campsite, lock things up in your vehicle. Excellent advice as always, Greg. Can't thank you enough for coming in. We're ready to get camping this weekend. All right, let's do it. Need some more information? You can find it at OutdoorNebraska.gov. Until next week, Greg, have a wonderful weekend. You too.